In today's video, we're going to go on Escalation and what one of my best starts. In this video, we're going to PvP a lot against a large group and we're going to get ourselves a really, really good start. If you guys enjoyed this video and want part 2 to come out where we continue on the server, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to drop a like, let's try to reach 200 likes and subscribe if you haven't already. In the last video, we announced a mythical giveaway and this was the winner. Make sure to join my Discord to claim the prize. Today, we're going to run another mythical in this video, which is a glitched chill PDW. If you guys want to win this, make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. And if you're a channel member, you also have a higher chance of winning this mythical. Alright boys, so just logged in this escalation server, I have absolutely nothing, and we're gonna try to get ourselves hopefully a, a good run. An airdrop literally just landed right above on this hill, so we're gonna go see, probably someone called it in though. But if we could sneak and maybe get a gun, that would be actually be really good. Yeah, it's right over there, right next to this base, so probably a live base. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of shots going on, so yeah, there's people right over there. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I do have myself a few teammates, I'm not gonna play alone. The server is very popular as well right now, most popular escalation server that there is. I don't know what I'm gonna do, I'm, I could try to knife them perhaps. Oh, never mind. There's a sentry dude, yeah, I'm gonna die. Alright, well, we found ourselves a target then, I guess. So we just gotta try to get ourselves a few guns and maybe we will go back. I don't know what we're gonna do, man. Oh, bro, I can't even spawn. I mean, I'm just gonna suicide. Alright, let's 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 try to get ourselves a few guns, get ourselves a base down, and we'll go try to door camp these guys, destroy their sentries, try to raid them, and hopefully we'll get ourselves some some good loot from it. But at least, at least we know where we're going to go. I'm not gonna build anywhere close though, I think I'm gonna build like close to Red Grove, or close to the bridge over there as well. So we'll, we'll see what we'll get. Alright, so we looted, parkwood a little bit, got ourselves a few guns, now we're just gonna go build... Uh, the base, we got ourselves a few metal as well for doors and lockers and all of that. So that's going to be our next step. Apparently the guys that we found their base, they're like a really big group. They're like a six man or something like that because they were flexing in chat. So I, I, we're gonna give it a try. If we managed to raid them, that would actually be really, really cool. I'm gonna go over to Camp Crystal to try to get myself a... Uh, an axe. Now in my vault I actually do have some stuff I completely forgot. I have myself a gas mask, some C4, and two adhesive. So it's just gonna be a little bit of a of a boost when it comes to the start. Obviously we still need to get ourselves a lot more items. I'm gonna do dead zone runs soon as well since we got ourselves the gas mask. So that is that's going to be the plan. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to start your own unturned server and have no clue where to start? Then check out Pine Hosting. Point hosting is super easy to learn, the navigation is also very user friendly and not hard at all to learn. All the servers have really high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own servers, I had no idea how to do anything, but after a few minutes I learned the basics. They have locations all around the globe, the pricing is also very cheap, and they also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Arc, and also Minecraft. A really good feature by Pine Hosting is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. If you have a server with another provider, Pine Hosting can help you move them as well. Make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and use the code LDG for 30% off, and let's get straight into the video. So the base is done, now we are going to go door camp that large base. We got ourselves a bunch of weapons, if we get any insane loot, um, we will home, they will depot. That is basically what uh, what the plan is going to be. There's a naked there, but let's leave the naked alone. We'll leave all of this over here, let's reorganize our inventory a bit as well. And we're gonna go with barely anything. Yeah, they're still here, they're still online. The thing is, bro, we can't get in so easily there, I killed him, um, I'm dead. We got pushed from the side. Alright, my teammates got him. Nice. It's gonna be an all-out war probably now. I'm dead. I can't even respawn. Alright, uh, we TP'd back. Let's get ourselves a gun. Yeah, my teammates got him. Nice. Yeah, this is my loot. There's a naked there. Let's kill him before he gets a gun and kills us from behind or something. Yeah, this is his loot. So we already got some stuff, but nothing crazy. We gotta try to destroy the sentries. We need to get ourselves a bunch of ammo for it. Salvage the clothes. Right now what we need is meds. He's right there again. Hit him. There's a guy up there. They're throwing nitro at us. That is absolutely crazy. Bro, the sentries are the only issue. If there was no sentries, we would be able to like push up a little bit. 
But there's kind of nothing we can do about it now. And he's right there. One of them's pushing, guys. Yeah, what is he doing? If they push us, that's really good because if we kill him, we can try to get his loot. If we kill them inside, the base is going to be kind of annoying. I'm gonna take the high kill. I got shot. All right, let's med up. Yeah, I need the high kill. We could try to destroy the sentry as well. Oh my, I accidentally <laughs> salvaged the leaves back. Okay, I did not want to do that. It's whatever though, just do a few dead zone runs and get them. Oh, one guy came from behind. Yeah, the Uzi. Okay, we'll take that. It's another gun for us. Yeah, he's always... Uh, I'm gonna try to destroy the sentry, actually. Try to damage them. Now, if you guys didn't already wonder, this was recorded before the latest update. So that's why we can actually destroy the sentries right now. Yeah, they're just hiding behind the gloss. Bro, they're just gonna camp. They're not gonna push out. I guess what we can do is just keep killing them over and over until we destroy the sentries. One of them is pushing with Nitro. Bro, they're throwing like grenades and everything. Yeah, that guy is dead. We gotta kill this other dude here. I don't know if my teammates actually killed him already. Wait, I think they did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they did. Okay. Alright, that's mad up because they actually hit me with the um the ECS. They have they have three sentries. I think they have even inside, man. Yeah, one of us is getting shot from the sentry right now. I think they have sentries at the back as well. Oh, I shot the tree somehow. Okay. Let's keep shooting down the sentry. I mean, we barely have any guns. We just literally looted like three places. So if we actually all die, we would literally have no more guns. So it could be a bit of an issue. We did get a few guns from them. Let me drop my teammates a few guns. They died. Let's keep shooting the sentry down. If we just managed to destroy one, I think that would be okay. Yeah, they're close. They're not even pushing out anymore. Oh man, how long does it take to actually break this? He's just peeking, he's just looking at us. Yeah, look at him. There we go, he's dead. Oh, they broke my tree, okay. That is not really good. That was my only cover. Let's keep shooting it down. Bro, I, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're probably gonna run out of ammo soon when it comes to the, uh, to the sniper. So we need to farm, like, some high cal. Or we'll come back when we actually have raiding gear. Alright, now we don't have any. And I shot the tree there by mistake. Great. <laughs> yeah, they're not even coming out anymore. Oh, never mind. He's... I don't know what he's doing. They threw a smoke. Okay. They opened... They opened again. I swear to God, if the sentries are broken, we can just go there, place letters, and enter from the window and they open it. Yeah, he's right. Oh, there you go. He's dead. He did hit me though. I got some more high kill, so let's heal up. I'm killing them so many times, so... Yeah, at least they can shoot the sentries from here, then. Sentries don't have enough range, so that's really good. Oh, they're bringing out assets now. If we get the acid, that would actually be really good. I think he went back inside. Come on, please break. Even if we break it and we just get the, the devastator from it, that would be really good. Look at that, dude. Thing is, these guns, they don't run out of ammo, man. That's really a, a huge issue. He's right there. There we go, he's dead. Feels bad we can't get his gun. Come on, man, please. I've been shooting it for so long. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I died. I got one tapped. Feels bad. It's TPA back. Alright, so I have a plan. I don't know if it's a stupid plan. But we're gonna do this. So that we get a bit of cover as well. And then we could just keep going on and on little by little. One by one by one by one. And we will be able to hopefully get close enough so that we can do ladders. I don't know why I threw that grenade. Not that, dude, that was actually a, not a bad grenade. Alright, so I need to get more logs. But I'm gonna try to jump in here. Just to get more guns. Come on, man. Give me that loot. Give me the guns. Give me the high kill, please. But, yeah, so I'm... Nothing really. I was. This is not what I wanted. But I guess we'll take some of them. We got some nitro, metal. Okay, well, we'll go back up. I'm probably going to die, to be honest. So we could just TPA rather than going up. Salvage all of these. Let's switch the backpack to make ourselves some meds. Oh, what the hell? Okay, well, my teammate killed someone that's kind of geared. Okay, this is. Uh, this is apparent. I think this is one of them. Okay, yeah, well, we got some loot. We could depot some of this. That's some some really good loot. Wait, what? They're using HMT! Bro, they're trying to raid my wall, I think. Okay, well, that's kind of insane. 
It's probably just in his window raiding my wall, to be honest. But if we he pushes out with that, that could be huge. We could get raiding gear this quickly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. Bro, we could just replace the wall. It's only five logs, man. The thing is, I actually have quite a lot of loot on me, so I could depot. Oh, yeah, they broke my wall. Our headshot. Oh, he's using it for... Okay, he's using it for PvP. He's in his window shooting. <laughs> All right. These guys are insane, man. All right, so my teammates... Uh, I don't know if they killed him inside the base. But yeah, we got ourselves a few more guns. I got my... Yeah, they're still using HMT, man. These guys have so much high cal that they're using it for PvP as well. Yeah, he's not pushing out or whatever. You know, one of us just got completely sniped. Bro, I really wish he pushes out with that HMT, man. I really, really do. He's shooting at me. There we go. I headshot him. Headshot, headshot. Bro, how low are they? Yeah, they just get hit once and they hide. That's all they're doing, man. Alright, so a bit of a plan. I'm going to the dead zone, but uh, there's a guy here. So let's kill him. My aim there was a bit potato, but it doesn't matter. He's dead. Okay, bro had some stuff. We'll take them all. Some nice guns. Yeah, we're going to the dead zone. I'm gonna try to get myself like some raiding gear maybe, and we can try to raid those guys, but... In all honesty, I, I don't know what we're going to do. We did get ourselves a bunch of guns from them, actually, because... My teammates did get, like, a few kills, and they were actually geared. So that they, they did depot them in our base. I was kind of the guy that was sniping them and trying to not let them push out all at once. And trying to destroy the sentry. Sentry's still alive, by the way. I put so many shots into it. Alright, let's hope we get ourselves a good run from the dead zone. If we get ourselves, like, some airdrop grenades or whatever, that would be really good. First, let's lure the zombies, as always. Let's get, let's get them. Come here. Alright, come on, give me that good loot. If we get ourselves Valkyrie, yeah, Valkyrie is right here. Maybe it'll help for the, um... For the sentry too, yeah, we got some high cal. Amphibious helmet, some clothes, some guns. Let's take both assets, alright, that's really good. Let's get the Valkyrie, Sabot slugs. And let's get ourselves the HMG components, alright. Maybe we could try to make ourselves our own HMT, but we still need to get ourselves a toolbox. And we don't have anything for a toolbox right now. We're back. There's a dude right here. There we go. He's dead. Okay, bro had uh, the sniper. That's really good. So now what we get, we're just gonna depot it. Because I don't think we're actually gonna try to raid them. We're just pissing them off until they push out with guns. Get their guns and then we dip. But I don't think they're even gonna try to push out. I think like a part of the sentry is sticking through the wall. So they're salvaging it from behind the wall. So, no matter how much we shoot it, it's still gonna be, like, full HP. They're still gonna be able to heal it. There's a guy behind us somewhere, so... I'm gonna just chuck a grenade. It would've been great if I actually killed them, but, yeah. There we go, we got ourselves another gun. Shotgun. Very nice. Some metal. That's good, too. So, Alright, we found ourselves a little raid. Let's give it a try. I don't know how much it's actually gonna take, but let's just put four. Oh, yeah, we over-raided, I guess, but whatever. Uh, okay, so a bunch of oil, that's good. A bunch of stuff to make adhesive, so that's okay, but sadly not what we really need. We'll take everything, though. I mean, all of the supplies is good, all of the metal is good. We can, like, work on base. One of us is a base builder, so he will probably take all of the metal and all of the refined oil. So that's, uh, that's really nice. Our first raid on the server. Could have been worse, but could have been better as well. There's people outside. I heard steps. Yeah, there's a guy here. There we go, he's dead. Oh, he had an Ulfbert. Nothing good, though. There's another guy here. Two chainsaws. What the hell? He was trying to build under my... What? Okay. Um, well, that's an easy gun. So, yeah, this is currently the state of our base. Um, we got an airlock. A bunch of large crates. We got ourselves some nice loot in the crates as well. They're starting to get a kind of full. Let's salvage his clothes. Don't need any of them. Get ourselves a locker, so a bunch of more guns over here. We're on the server for like just an hour as well. And we mainly got all of this from PvP and from that one dead zone run, which didn't really have anything that crazy there, to be honest. Oh, wait, what? Wait, he got an HMT? Okay, never mind then. We got ourselves an HMT. My bro crafted an HMT. That is actually insane. 
That is so good. Well, we can start raiding soon then. Insane. Alright boys, so that's going to be the end of episode number one. Now in episode number two, we will continue and uh, it's going to get more intense. So I really hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys want episode two to come out as soon as possible, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 200 likes in the first 24 hours. If you guys made it till the end, I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.